name's Kai Brett. I'm, I'm a world-class dart player. Now, when you think, when you hear the word dart, you probably think of uh, the, the throwing game. Well, you're wrong. Dart is a highly competitive card game founded in the uh, early 2000s. Um, and it's just been a big part of my life ever since then, you know? Uh, I'm swimming in dollars, I'm swimming in cards, I'm ready to take on the world. So, welcome to the Dart documentary. What is Dart? Are you, are you really asking that question? Dart? Dart is the most intensifying card game out there, okay? No other card game can be as intense as this. You know, like, you know, what other card games? Poker? No. It doesn't match the intensity of this card game, okay? It's like the number one game. <laughs> what is Dart? Shouldn't even be here asking the questions. What are the rules of this Dart game? Read him one week, baby. Can you take us through the rules step by step? Stupid. Doesn't know how to play dart. Uh, I'm being paid to ask you these questions. I know how to play dart. <laughs> sure you do. The first rule, and the most obvious, is each player gets four cards. I've read this rule book a hundred times. Those, those five words, those are embedded in my brain. You keep, you keep that, you know that, you know? I'll take you down, man. I'll bite your face off. I'm, I'm the new Mike Tyson, and I play card games. Step two. I'm, I'm pretty sure that um, I'm capable of comprehending this one, but if any matches, meaning like two and a two, put them down. Just smack them down like you really mean it, but just don't bend the cards because, you know, that's really annoying. But still, just bang them down. Like, you want to break the table. The next rule, always keep four cards in your hand, all right? That means if you take away two, you put down a match, you pick up two. You always wanna have four cards in your hand, all right? That's a very important rule. It may be even the, the most important rule. Always keep four cards in your hand. Take away two, pick up two, two more. Take away four, pick up four more. Take away the middle two, you pick up two more. You got that, boy? Remember the last rule I did? Where you had the matches, you know, a two and a two? Well, if you don't have any of those, you count to one, two, three, and you put your hand, not your little hand, but the cards that you have in your hand, you put them on the table. That's all you gotta do. Do you understand how to do that? All right, so now that everyone's hands are on the table, not their hands, their hand, their card hand. Once their card hands are on the table, you know what you do? If you see any card that matches any of the cards that you have on the table, you grab for that, you know? You grab, you dart for it! You, that's where the name comes from, you dart for it, you know? You with, see it with your eyes, you know, grab them with these guys. You got that, that's right. You, you, take, you take the cards, you know, and they have to pick up more cards, you know? Because you, you always have to keep four cards down on the table, you know? So if your card gets taken, you take, that, you take another card back, you got it? That's what, that's what that last rule that I talked about was about, you got it? You got it, punk? I'll take you on. After you've done that rule, well, you gotta put all six on the ground. You, you know, you know what those trace cross or single says? Oh, you don't know what that means? Well, take freaking Spanish and learn what it means, okay? It means one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? It's not that freaking difficult. All right, by the end of the game, you know what you do? You know what you do once you've played those six rounds? You know what you do? You count up all them matches you got. Yeah, all them sweet matches on a scratch piece of paper. Each round, at the end of each round, you know what you do? You pick up that scratch piece of paper, you write down how many matches you have, you know? You get it? How many matches you have. That's very important, you will learn the natural. You will learn! That's why I'm teaching you, boy, I'm your teacher. <laughs> you know, I'm about to discipline your butt to the ground! You got that? Count up those dang matches or else 
You're nothing. You're nothing without those matches, man. You're just a babe in the woods, you know, without any clothes. And the wolves are closing in around you. So you better watch out because your tiny baby hands, they can't punch that wolf in the face. You need those matches. They make your hands big and manly so you can punch those wolves into the ground. Got that? That's what happens when you're a master like me. This is the very most important rule ever, okay? I might have been a little bit tense before, I'm sorry for that, but whoever has the most mat, you know, screw that! Whoever has the most matches wins, okay? All right, this next rule is gonna keep you dang cheaters at bay. You know what it is? It's no hovering, man. You hover, you're done, all right? So let me set up a situation, all right? So. You got your four cards out here, and the guy you're playing against, he's, he's got his four cards out here, you know? Oh, you see that he's got a jack, you know? You want that jack. You know you want it. So you know what you do? You pick it up, and you hover. You hover above it for like five minutes, because you can't figure out which one you want to pick. Do you want the heart, or do you want this, the club? Do you want the heart or the club? You don't know. So you know what you do? You pick it up, and you hover, and this guy over here, he can't grab, he can't grab for this. He, he wants it just as much as you do, but he can't get it because you're hovering above. And you know what that is? That's cheating. That's cheating. You pick it up, it's cheating. You know what happens if you cheat? Me and the boys, you know what? We surround you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry for yelling, guys. I'm just, I'm just going through some stuff, you know. Uh, I, I really miss grandma. <laughs> this money is the only thing keeping me going, you know. Uh, I'm, 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 the guilt's building up because of grandma, guys. I just. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 I came from a very, very rich family. Million dollar house, million dollar car, million dollar everything. They're billionaires. No, make that trillionaires. Yes, call me spoiled a little bit, but no, I got nothing better to do. I've done everything in the world by age 10. So I was looking for something, you know, unique, different, that I can be the best at again. I was a pro football player. I was a pro hockey player. I was a pro everything, every sport. So I got bored all by the age of 10. So this one video changed my life forever. It was about two years ago. Now make my age 21. I mean, these cards. I can't even put words to it. So, I was like, hmm, I need to go out, buy myself the most expensive deck in the world. I went to this card, card shop, you know, just looking around. Probably should have bought it online, but you know what? I need to get outside. Explore the world, even though I explored every inch already. And I, I, I met this dude. He had orange hair, very curly, very nice. Did he tell you this? Well, we sat down, I put down 500 grand. I don't mean to blow my heart. It was only for a thousand dollars, but I want it. Like, you know, that's how I got to this pro level. We started to travel the world together, play dart, play professionally. Pretty good at it, you know. I want, I, I wanted to, I want to do this forever, you know. Nothing else really interested me so far, but this, you know. It's very high risk. Did he tell you about his grandma? Poor soul. Happened to me once. <laughs> you know, well, not grandma. <sighs> that would be a bad thing if I turned into a grandma. But I did uh, accidentally uh, murder someone over a dart game, but. He needed it. It was my father. <laughs> he had it coming. <laughs> I just laugh. Because I just want that thing again so I can murder him again. I, you know why he had it coming? We were eating dinner. We were sitting down, having a good time. And then... I wanted a $50,000 lobster. But he only got... He only got the 10,000 lobster for me. What kind of...
piece of garbage would only get a $10,000 lobster. What do you tell? 10000 That's the most cheapest. Sorry. My mom and I, we lived in a trailer park down in Chicago. You know, it's real cold down there. You gotta wear your, your linens every day or else you're gonna, you're gonna catch frostbite. I, you know what? I've seen guys walking down the street, their whole faces are just covered in frostbite. Covered all the way up the arms, all the way up the legs. You know what? They got their whole, they got whole halves of their body amputated because they just couldn't take that cold. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm already so icy, you know? I, I, I was already so icy, I walked out into the cold fridge of Chicago air. Nothing but shorts and like, socks that are like, up to here. That's, that's all, that's, that was it, out in Chicago. And I'm fine. The doctor said that I might have had some mental health issues, but, but that's not important, that's not, that's not what matters, you know? But, one, you know, one day, I was, I was feeling real ticked off at my mom, you know? She stole my cat, she's, she stole him. I've been keeping this cat under my bed for, for 10, for 10 months, you know? She didn't know about this cat. She, she took it and she said, Honey, you, you, you know how starving we are? You know how starving we are? And you've been keeping this valuable food source high for me this whole time. I'm like, you better not eat my cat, mama. And you know, she took that cat, she bit right into it, right in front of my eyes. It was screaming, blood was pouring everywhere. I was crying, yeah, so. I ran out, I slammed the door shut, I just fell down a, uh, a few hills, you know, might have bumped my head even more than it's already been bumped by that frostbite. I stole some guy's iPad who was walking down the street, you know, I was feeling real tucked off after I took that tumble and I just slapped him right in the face, stole his iPad and ran off and he was watching this video, you know, this video, it changed my life. It's called, it's called Dart, it came out two years ago and uh, it, it changed my life. These two kids, they, they told me about this, this amazing game. That, and it just, it just blew my mind. So uh, I went to my four, first dart tournament uh, probably last year. I, I had this big guy sitting to my right, you know. He was giving me the death stare. Uh, I, I was freaking out because he's got these big muscles, like big eyes staring at me. You know, I thought, I thought his eyes were going to fall out. He was staring at me so intensely. You know, just fall right out. And then he, he'd grab me by the neck and throw me out the window. And I thought when I tried to grab his cards, he'd break my arm straight open, straight in half. You know what, but I did beat him. I beat this guy. And he, and he quartered, cornered me after he was like, boy, you think you can take me? And I'm like, no, sir. And he's like, you, you better believe it. He gave me this scar to remind me. See that? Gave me this scar to remind me. Never cross his path again. You know, he died just yesterday. He took a dang hard beating after I had that encounter. Uh, I felt like I needed to, needed to calm my nerves and, and treat myself to, to a new deck of cards. So I went to this card store. I met this kid. He was a good, good kid. Good boy, good man. His, his name was Caleb. Uh, he was, he was, you could tell that he was swimming in dollars, you know. He was wearing this full, like, golden crested, uh, like, suit. You know, he's got, like, these, these diamond sunglasses. And uh, we sit down. Uh, we play dart. And I, I've never met a guy. I've never met a guy in my life <clears throat> who plays dart as hard as he does, but he played it hard. We bet five thousand million dollars that day. He he won it all. But you know what? I feel like I won because I I without that kid, where I am right now. We're in Torin Torin. We went uh, to all the dart tournaments all around the world. Tag teams, uh, double time. We'd even go one on one sometimes. And then, you know, things were pretty good. Things were going pretty great and, until, until Grandma, you know, I thought I'd show her my passion. We were playing dart one day. She hovered so hard that, that I just, like, all my bones cracked. My teeth were grinding so hard I had to get fillings. <clears throat> and afterwards, you know, I, I, <coughs> I spooned her eyes out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just can't take the guilt. Just 